Hi guys, we're going to do a quick tutorial today. We're going to find a center of a line and a center of an arc without having a ruler to measure. So let's get to it real quick. I'm going to do a line first. I'm going to draw a line. Mark each end. I'm going to use a compass. If you don't have a compass, you can tie two pencils together with a thread that are roughly a little bit more, somewhere more than half the distance of your line, but not larger than your line. So we're just going to open this, open it, open it. There we go, that should do. All right, we are going to put your point on one end, create an arc above and an arc below. Move to the other side, put your point on the other side, make an arc above and below. Make sure your arcs above and below cross because you're going to take a straight edge. You're going to line up where they cross. We can get it lined up right there. Is the center of your line. Now let's take our ruler and double check. What do we have? A little more than two and a half and a little more than two and a half. Perfect. All right, let's do the same thing but with an arc. Again, if you don't have a compass, you can use two pencils tied together. Let me make this arc a little bit smaller. All right, we're going to do an arc. Okay, we have our arc. We need to know the center of that arc without having a ruler or a protractor to measure it. We're going to do the same thing. We mark the, the each end of the arc. I'm going to take a protractor or two pencils tied together, open it to roughly somewhere more than half. You're just guesstimating. Mark above, mark below. Put your point on the other end. Mark above, mark below. Take any old straight edge, anything straight will do. Line up these two intersections, put your mark, and there's the center of your arc. Hope that was useful for you today, and have a great day. Okay, now that we have learned how to find the center of a line without using a ruler, in the center of an arc without using a ruler. We're going to draw a circle and we're going to see if we can find the center of that circle using the same technique that we just learned. Okay, so I'm going to draw a circle with my compass. If you don't have a compass, again, you can use two pencils tied together with a string. And it'll work just as well. All right, there's our circle. Now, we need to find the center of the circle. And we're gonna use the same technique that we just learned. Now, we're gonna draw three random lines across the circumference, the circumference of the circle. Doesn't matter where you draw them, doesn't matter how long you draw them. <coughs> Sorry about that. Something in my throat. All right, there we go. So we have three lines across the circumference of our circle. Mark the point where they hit the circumference of the circle. Those points are gonna be where we put our compass. All right, now, we're gonna do the same thing with our pencils, our set of pencils, or our 
compass. You're going to open to somewhere past half of this first line. Put your point on one end. You're going to draw an arc above and an arc below. And make sure that these arcs are pretty decent sized because you want to make sure when you get to this end and you draw your second set of arcs that they're large enough to cross. Alright, now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to line up where they intersect just like we did with our arc. And draw this line like all the way through the circle. You'll see why in a minute. So you're going to connect up these two spots where these arcs meet. You have your center of your line, which is what we did before, remember? All right, we're going to draw it all the way through the circle. We're going to do the next line. Do the same thing. See where our Okay, we're going to draw an arc above, an arc below, don't worry about crossing lines, just keep track of where your marks are. This set and this set. We're going to connect where they cross, we're going to draw all the way through the circle. Now you can stop here because this will give you what you need, but I always like to go for the third line just to double check myself. And I'll show you why in a minute. We're going to do our last line, arc above, arc below, arc above, arc below. Line them up. Okay, now the point where all three of these lines intersect is right here. And again, you could have done this with just two lines. But if you do three, you just double check yourself. That's the center of the circle. Let's check either with our pencil or with our compass. And let's see. Yep, it is. That is the center of our circle. And there you go. Hope you learned something from this tutorial today. Um, I've took this one. I was going to do shorts, but these turned out to be long, too long for shorts. So I'm just going to take this one and the previous tutorial and I'm going to uh, just put them together into one video and um, hopefully that'll give it a little more flow and it'll make a little more sense to you. Okay, so um, there you go. Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you thought this was uh, uh, useful for you. Um, do you have a, another technique? Because I believe there are other techniques to doing this. Um, so if you have another technique you'd like to share, drop that down below too. That would be awesome for everybody to learn how to do some simple geometry um, to find things without having to lean on rulers and compasses. You don't need these to do amazing work. You really don't. So I use this a lot, but you don't even need this. Two pencils tied together. One pencil here, one pencil here. Tie them together with a string at any length you want. And you can do the same thing that I just did. So you don't even need fancy stuff. You just need to make sure you have a pencil and something to write on. And some basic tools to work with. Alright, so hopefully that helped you guys, and uh, I'm going to leave it there. Um, we're going to be using some of these techniques. The reason why I did this video is because the next video I do is going to be a longer video. I'm going to start doing 
uh, circular Celtic knots and we're going to be using this technique um, in uh, a couple of places to set up our grid for that. So the, if you watch this first, this will help you when we get to that. Okay? Alright, let me uh, sign off here, go get some coffee and go get some other stuff done and hopefully you guys have a great day and hopefully you learned something from this. If you like this video, um, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.